Hello YouTube, how's it going today? Uh, just on my way home from school, figured I'd do a little bit of a moto vlog. Uh, I did one on the way in. Uh, it didn't really turn out, just because number one, I wasn't really awake, and number two, it was friggin' cold out. And that's no fun. Okay, what's this guy doing? Because he's not signaling. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I'm gonna go straight, so. Um, anyways, yeah, so I did, I did a motor vlog this morning, um, and it was just too cold. Like, really too cold. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that's pretty much all I can say about that. But, um, what I mentioned, or what I was trying to mention while my, like, teeth were chattering, because it was freezing, um, is that... Um, yesterday I did a moto vlog on, I called it DC versus Marvel. There wasn't really a versus, it was more just explaining, I think, problems I think both of them have. Um, but, uh, the, um, the one thing I kind of laugh at is I was literally just talking about Robert Downey Jr. and how he's, he's getting older and is he really going to want to do more movies? And I wake up this morning and <laughs> he has signed on to do another movie. Or I guess reportedly signed on to do a movie. Who knows if it's true or not. But yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> and I do have a specific plan for today's moto vlog, but I have to get to a certain area to do it. Um, <laughs> so I'm just kind of filling time in between that. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I thought that was really kind of funny. That, uh, just the sort of irony of the, the fact that I just talked about it. <laughs> also, had a girl scare the crap out of me on my bike today. I was, like, right about to put on my helmet. And all I hear is, nice bike! Like, from behind me, I didn't know anyone was behind me. Like, made me jump. Jerk in the truck. Um, <laughs> stole the move I should have done. Um, now I'm stuck behind this. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, it's still a little bit cold out. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be able to drive the bike for. <laughs> and now I have like an insert that I can put in my helmet. Uh, or in my helmet. I'm losing my friggin' mind. Um, an insert that I can put in my jacket. It's like a thermal insert thing. Um, I love my jacket. <laughs> but I just don't know if I want to put it in yet, just because it makes it kind of puffy. And a little bit more, um, a little bit more uncomfortable. There we go. Go Mazda. Now go Honda. There we go. Um, you know, one thing I was going to explain today is that my channel, I, I like to, at least this is the way I've, I don't know, designed <laughs> my channel, is that it's kind of an everything channel. Yes, I'm on a motorcycle, and I'll get into that. But for the most part, um, my channel is just what I want to talk about. It could be a movie, it could be food, it could be video games, it could be whatever. And I might not even just put moto vlogs in my channel. I might put um, video games or whatever, right? I, I mean, I'll do what I want <laughs> because of my channel. Now, um, because of that, I, uh, you'll notice on certain days I'll talk about certain things. Like I said, I might talk about movies one day, and I might have multiple subjects, or I have been, I've been trying to do about, like, multiple subjects, but I've been trying to list sort of the main three in the titles, as I'm sure some of you have noticed. But, uh... Um, ugh, it's cold. 
Um, but as a motorcycle channel, I am going to have motorcycle things because I do want both the channels to grow. I, I want to get more people into motorcycles just because I think they're a great form of transportation. Um, I know one of my business ideas is to be a, uh, a motorcycle dealer. Um, a lot of my business ideas kind of revolve around automotive and um, power sports and motorsports. So. Um, a lot of them don't. A lot of them are sporting goods. A lot of them are uh, food related. Um, I'm working. Ugh, I'm like shivering right now. I'm thinking about doing a food related one in the summer, just to kind of give it a try and, and you know see how it goes. But um, yeah, I. Uh, really kind of interested in a lot of things. I think that's one of my biggest problems with business <laughs> is that I, uh, I have too many ideas. But it, uh, it'll be interesting. <laughs> like, I, like I've said several times, I have very big dreams. Um, especially over the last couple months, um, I found I was sort of working on my own dreams, but I wasn't doing it for me. I was doing it for someone else. Um, and it, it may sound a little bit selfish, but it uh, it's that's not really something I, I want to do. I've sort of, sort of learned a lot about people in the last couple months. Um, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> If there's one bit of advice I could give anyone, it's that the people... It's going to be kind of a downer moment. But <laughs> the, the people you care about the most are the most likely ones to screw you over. We'll put it that way. That's why they say never go, to, never go into business with friends or family. And I don't plan on it. <laughs> um, and it's not... Yeah, I'm not going to go into detail, but just, <laughs> that's my advice for today is, um, I don't know, don't, don't trust anyone too much. Um, but it, those are cool trucks. Those are friggin' cool trucks. <laughs> I know who owns them too. Well, like, I don't know, but like, I know, I don't know them personally, but I know who actually owns them and... I know that they have more than enough resources to do them, so freaking do them. <laughs> um, I don't know why I do that every time. It's just sort of a weird habit. Um, now one of the things, um, like I said, it kind of at its basis. This is a motorcycle channel. Um, I mean, it's called a moto vlog and not a vlog for a reason, and that reason is that I'm on a motorcycle. So, like I said, motorcycles are a great form of transportation. They're, um, if, if they're used properly, now you can, obviously, you can kill yourself on a motorcycle. Um, <laughs> trust me, you know, it's almost happened, and yeah, but, I mean, I'll be honest, it's so much cheaper, it's more fun, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love driving cars, I love driving cars, trucks, SUVs, whatever, anything motorized, I'm a fan, um, and something's non-motorized, but as far as motorcycles go, you're not gonna get, with street legal driving, you're not gonna have more fun than on a motorcycle, if that's what you're into. Now, I know my dad, for instance, um, he's been on a, he's never driven a motorcycle, but he's been on a motorcycle before. Um, like as a passenger. Not mine, he won't go on mine. <laughs> he says it's too scary and fast and blah blah blah. He's just being a baby. But, um, yeah, great form of transportation. Now, you have to learn how to use them. <laughs> and I mean, I don't think that learning process should ever stop. Ever. Um, one of the things that I suggest learning that I found now, most people talk about counter steering and, and stuff like that, and I'll get into that. Um, 
the one of the biggest tips I could give anyone, and I watched every, like, before I got a bike, I watched every video I could find. Like, every single one. And it, there was anything from body placement to um, counter steering to leaning to whatever. I never watched one freaking video <laughs> where they told you, steer with your hips. Um, it sounds kind of weird, but like literally, I'm not turning right now because you turn by leaning. Really, you don't turn by actually moving the steering wheel. You turn by lean or the steering wheel. <laughs> um, the you don't actually turn by like turning the handlebars. You turn by leaning. Now, how do you lean? Realistically, a lot of people think you're just shifting your upper body, uh, which you are. I mean, that's that's kind of the basis of leaning. But everything goes from your hips. You've got to make sure that your hips are... And that if you lean, the bike's going to go with you. See, like, I'm not even shifting my upper body. All I'm doing is shifting my, my hips. Um, if you actually look at my upper body in my shadow, I'm not sure if you can see that, but in my shadow, the bike's moving, my upper body's not. Um, and the reason for that is I'm just shifting my hips. And it might look a little funny from like a car behind you or whichever, because all you see is like, <laughs> you're supposed to be like <laughs> some like bad boy motorcyclist and realistically you're sitting there like shaking your hips like, yeah. <laughs> But uh, it, it is kind of one of those things. And like I said, I never watched one video. Um, I just kind of got the feel for it myself because I'm a self-taught driver. And um, that was one of the biggest things. It, I found if my hips are planted, like on the seat, I have full control. If they weren't planted on the seat, I have no control. And, that, and that's sort of the biggest thing for me at least is basically driving with your hips. Um, I mean, you're driving with your throttle and your brakes and clutch and all that sort of stuff, like the controls, but at the actual basis of leaning and steering and all that sort of stuff, everything goes from your hips. So, for those of you who are new motorcycle drivers, uh, motorcycle riders, or looking to get into it, that would be one bit of advice that I would... I would give to you is steer with your hips. Um, now, obviously, you want to watch over counter steering, and once we get up here to this next turn, this kind of sweeping turn up here, I will show you. Um, I think it's just over this hill. Um, but uh, that's one of the biggest things is just your hips. Honestly, it sounds really weird. Now, counter steering is when you're up to speed, if you turn the bike right, the bike's gonna go left. See, I, st I turn the steering wheel, or the steering wheel again, um, the handlebars right, the bike leans the other way. Uh, it's easier to do at lower speeds, or when you're going on a turn, like I will show you up here. Um, see, this especially works for if you're going around a big sweeping turn. If you watch my handlebars, when I'm going around this turn, it's a right turn, like it's a, a right sweeping motion, but my handlebars will turn left. And the other thing is you want to keep your head up and move your hips. See, they actually almost stay, the, stay straight, but they do go slightly to the left. Um, but that's the biggest thing is just go and you plant your hips. If you plant your hips, your body will follow. Same as it's the same as looking on a motorcycle. If you're looking straight ahead and you got your head up, if you look where you want to go, your body's going to naturally follow. I, I tell the same thing about people who can't skate because they're always looking down at their feet. And I'm a big hockey guy. I, I played hockey my entire life, so I, I do tend to compare things to hockey. Um, but people who can't skate because they're always looking down at their feet, they're always looking down at where to go, that's not how you do it. You've got to look up and look where you're going to go. If you do that, your body is going to naturally follow. And motorcycling is the same. You look where you want to go, and you go there. Um, now, the weird part about counter steering is it doesn't always apply. If you're going, if you're at speed, yes, it applies that if you turn left, the bike's gonna go right. 
Um, and that's because if you turn left, the bike leans that way. It's all about leaning, which again, relates back to your hips. Um, I'm gonna pass this guy. <laughs> I know that's just dirt in there, but dirt has a very distinct smell. <laughs> um, but that's that's really where it all comes from, is um, your hips. Now, at lower speeds, you can turn right and the bike will go right, but the same deal applies, is that you're still leaning. Um, so again, everything goes back from your hips. And I'll do another counter steering, or oh, another, I will do a counter steering video um, later. <laughs> these people are great. They, uh, they have these statues, sorry to get off topic, but they have these statues that uh, they basically dress up all the time and they literally change them. It's hilarious. For Christmas, they'll have Christmas, for Easter, they'll have Easter. It's hilarious. I don't know who they are, but <laughs> man, they must have cool personalities. Is that something cool coming up? I can't tell. I want to say yes, but a um, Mustang? Yeah, Mustang. Hmm. Not a nice Mustang. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, so when it comes to it, it's all in the hips, everything. Like, even just going in a straight line, I would never take off in a straight line if my hips weren't planted. Now, I will do things like, sometimes I'll like stand up and like stretch my back out or something like that, but not when I'm giving it throttle. That's how you hurt someone, <laughs> or yourself, or trash your bike. Anyways, um, just a quick little short video today. Um, I'm almost home and I'm really cold. I got a lot of homework to do. But uh, as always, if you guys have any questions, comment below. Um, any comments, comment below. Anything at all, comment below. And uh, do the whole like, share, subscribe, tweet, Facebook, whatever. Um, I really appreciate um, you guys helping the channel grow. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Later.